There we go. Third time's the charm. In a good background that isn't the current chaos that is my uh my back room. Let's see. Uh, recording. Studio. That looks fun. I like that. Let's see what else we got. This one? Oh, yeah. Me and my shadow. <laughs> We're using, uh, this'll, that, that'll be fun. Yeah, sure. Now that'll, that was, no, not that one. That one. Here we go. This. Well, it'll say recording here in a minute. Recording. We're, uh, we're using the the background because uh my room though it is the recording studio is still a disaster in the background there's like a pile of boxes behind me actually there's several we're not going to talk about that <laughs> all right what we are going to do I thought i had this queued up Teach me to think, won't it? Somehow I don't. Okay, so. Well, I had the door closed, but the cat has let itself in. So there will probably be... Probably one or two cat appearances. Because cats... And... I'm just trying to find the um who is positive PR? Why am I following them? I'm sure there's a good reason for it. I know I'm behind on Amber by at least two videos, and I know with Foodie I'm behind by like a lot. Because Foodie apparently posts every five minutes. So there's that. I don't think um Glitter and Lasers has really done much interesting except post a short about comments. Pulpy Syntax. I was trying to remember his name earlier. Why when I type in... When I type in Foodie Beauty, I get uh, Eugenie Clooney. Eugenia Clooney. And I could do it. I, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. Bum, 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 bum. I don't need that kind of negativity. Thank you. Hello, Taco Talia, you were first. Hello, Shayna. I got your link, and I will eventually do something with it, I promise. Um, hello, Hildy. Hello, Nat goes there. Hello, Ruby Skies. Hello, welcome back, Molly. I hope everything went well. I streamed earlier today where I was just playing games, but... Uh, Christini. Nope. I don't, don't ask. I just hallucinated some letters there. Hello, Christina. My partner is home, so if you hear some noises, it is either the cat or my partner. The yellow bean bag. <laughs> Did I say that a lot, Ruby? Hello, WD Slim Chipley. Ah. 
I do not want to get into the middle of the French fried girl foodie beauty thing. That just seems like a lot of emotional labor. Though it is interesting to watch from afar. Is the right one? Here we are then. I just want to watch this one. Oops. Hey. You, you don't need to see me. Gosh darn it, where'd I go? There I am. Trying to... What is it with people and doors? I'm going to very just quick and dirty resize this because it's not going to stay this way for the whole time. It's iconic. <laughs> Wait, French fried girl and Alex is shook are going at it? My money's on Alex. Hello, Theo. Well, the moving is done. The unpacking has begun. It is slightly less than organized chaos right now. The studio setup was like the most important part of it. And oh yeah, and I may or may not be eating. Well, hopefully I'll be eating. My soup will be done here in a few minutes. Um. Anyway, the chaos is real. So. There's that. But, you know, I've got the recording desk set up. I've got my two box lights going on. So I feel like the lighting is a whole lot better. Oh, Alexander Rodriguez. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sorry, I forget that. I forget that's her name. Uh, but anyway, yes. So. Anna is classic Dunning-Kruger effect. Indeed. Anna and Amber both. I thought Anna didn't work out in gyms because she's got that $800 home gym. So why, why is she even in a gym ever? Yeah, I'm glad that I'm, it's a little, the lighting, addressing random comments. Uh, Nat goes, the lighting. I think, I think I need to increase the saturation a little bit, but I'm actually using a virtual camera because I'm using that AI cam that pulls the background out, obviously, as you can see. Oh no, you can see the mess in the background. No. Um, and the color goes through that weirdly, but when I'm just using the regular cam and I don't have anything filtering it, it does look much nicer just because of the lighting's more even. Got these two really nice box lights. I'll take a picture when everything's like fully finished and I'm not using that ring light anymore because it just, it kills my eyes, man. So these both have like these really nice diffuser sheets on them. So the light's not quite as harsh and you still get the nice effect of having a nice light. I think I can raise that one up a little bit more, but. Yeah. Now my head doesn't look quite as shiny. Hey, textbook committee is here. I <laughs> love your face. I have makeup on. I need to start wearing foundation. I'm just, I'm literally too lazy to put foundation on. But I've got this really great stuff. That e.l.f. stuff that's got the mild glitter in it. I mean, it is. That's what it is. It looks great on camera. I'm not sure how it looks in person, but on camera, it like diffuses light beautifully. It, it, it looks like you've got a filter on. And I'm like, yeah, why don't I wear this more often? And I'm like, oh, yeah, because it's a foundation and it's a pain to put on. That's why. Fight me. All right, let's watch this just for giggles. The title is YouTube Comments in Real Life. Can't please everyone, so focus on your own goals. Hashtag health journey. So basically, I'm assuming Anna's going to complain about the fact that 
everybody keeps trying to correct her form and point out that she's being unrealistic and she's just going to be like, eh, I ran a 5k, you guys. What have you done with your laugh? It's like, uh, yeah, okay. You can lift all the weights you want. Should be your cardio. Cardio can be very hard in the joints. You should be swimming. <laughs> to be fair. This guy is funny. You can learn how much cardio you do if your diet's not on point. I mean, that's true. You know, your diet doesn't even matter if you're not getting enough sleep. You know, it doesn't matter how much you sleep if you're not lifting weights. <gasps> you can lift all the weights you want. Should be your cardio. You want me to believe that that guy can't hold on to a 60 pound weight? I mean, I guess if you just like cold dropped it on him like that, maybe, but for comedy, that's funny. But I also don't believe that she's routinely doing whatever she's calling that with a 60 pound weight. Which foundation from Elf was that? Um... Wrap on a stick. It's the one in the tall. <laughs> this is helpful. It's the one in the tall bottle. Is it... Well, all right. Hang on. I'll be right back. Night. I am a shadow. That's all I can think when I see myself glitching. All right, so because one person asked, um, my actual foundation that I use is the Serum Foundation from Neutrogena in like slightly pinker than Ghost Pale. Can you see that? Come on, Camry. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Anyway. I like this one because it's got, um, I swear to God. this one's called pro vitamin B5. Uh, it's got pro vitamin B5 and I think it's got, um, something else in it that I like using starts with an N. It's been a week guys. It's been a week. Anyway, the actual elf one. Oh, it's the halo glow. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's Halo Glow. It's a liquid filter. It's an additive, but like, I'm going to be an influencer for five seconds. It comes with this weird ass doe foot. I don't understand the applicator at all, but it's not quite foundation. But it does have a color to it. And once you rub it in all nice makes my back back of my hand look all blurry of course it, the back of my hand looks blurry anyway but you can kind of see it but in this light see how shiny it is compare it well okay never mind i lied but anyway i think it makes the skin look better and that's all that matters all i know about the halo foot the halo foot the halo glow elf stuff is when I went to go try it, um, who's that weird guy that does makeup? Jeffree Star had reviewed it and you could not find this fucking stuff anywhere. It took me three months to find it. And then I had the damnedest time finding it in this pale ass shade. Which one is this? This isn't the palest one. It is damn close to it. And 
I, I guess white people really like this because that was the color I couldn't find. Hello, One-Eyed John. The other thing that I've been using, and I, I've already talked to you guys about it, is the um, the Elf Lip Oil. It's not oily at all. It's actually kind of a little bit sticky, but the shine is amazing. So that's another one that uh, somebody must have reviewed it because I couldn't find that to save my soul. But I eventually did. But... Oh, Amy, it's a dupe. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'll pretty much just does dupes these days, which is fine. This was like $11, I think, when I finally was able to get a hold of it. So whatever it's a dupe of, I'm sure, is like three times the price for... I mean, I like the effects. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to pay a crazy amount of money for makeup. And same thing with the um, the lip oil stuff. I mean, I love it. It's not moisturizing, in my opinion, whatsoever, but it looks great. And again, it looks fabulous on camera. It looks good in person, too, but on camera, it's just like... I feel like today, makeup companies are making makeup that looks good through a filter, through a, through a camera lens, you know? I'm not saying, like, only influencers are wearing makeup, but, like, you know, people are taking lots of selfies of, of each other and just the world in general. And so I feel like makeup these days is being made and done, especially American style makeup, in a way that looks really good on camera, but in person doesn't look that great. So it looks, I mean, it looks like you're wearing a crap ton of makeup. Like I know people do all these like crazy contouring, blending things. And it's just like, but what do you look like in person? Like, do you look like you've got a cake ton of makeup on your face or do you actually look like the camera version of yourself in real person in real life you know so let's get this adjusted back down we're gonna do we're gonna sandwich this we're gonna start with amber's uh second most recent video how many have i missed no i got that one this this dumb one and then we're gonna do not this. My Abaya collection. I like that she's become a... Muslim fashionista by... Like, not wearing the clothing very well. Let's see, which one of these do we want to do from Foodie? Not final update in a while. Barbarito PayPal scam. Barbarito is Chipotle in Canada. That doesn't look like Chipotle to me. I deliver quite a bit of it. Mm. Let's not do an eating. Let's not do one that's so blatantly an eating one. I did do. I did watch Lunch and Therapy. Didn't she just post a new one? She's already taken it down. <laughs> uh, let's do... Let's do this one. God, these are all from like a day ago. Let's do this one after we do the first Amber. <laughs> Pardon me. And then we'll do the other Amber... And then we'll do the other foodie. Vera was my friend. One full of eating noises. Yeah, we're not doing that one. Oh, it's alive. All right, well then... Maybe we'll do... I kind of want to do the therapy one. I love her intro, I'm not gonna lie. I've been a proud... Hi, Jojo. How are you? Still working for 23 years. Nope, I still want you to stop. Which accounts? 
go to 10. There we go. And then we'll do the um, the live. We I, I don't know if we'll do the whole live. We'll find out. Yeah, Foodie is genuinely just a terrible person. Okay, so it used to be if I switched accounts in one window, it switched them in all of my windows, and now it's not doing that. And I don't know how I feel about it, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> 12 a.m. Yeah, we're going to skip that one. There's three people waiting. This thing's at 2 a.m. or 12 a.m. On 420. Seagulls try to steal my pizza. Do, 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 do. Well, that was two. Okay, this is the one. I think this is the one I was looking for. Okay. Two hours ago. Anyway, we'll do that one after we do Amber. First, I need Amber to tell me that she's in a relationship and actually convince me of it. And then watch her weigh her clothes and then watch her show us her underwear. I know I spoiled it for everyone. Funeral tomorrow. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> my dad's funeral was very festive. Very relaxed, I guess, is what I should say. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, you guys want to watch me? I can do that for members if you guys are interested. To watch me ineptly apply makeup. Maybe I'll do like an actual like look. <laughs> you have way too much makeup. I've been looking into a P.O. box. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm up in the air on that one. Not for any particularly bad reason. I just don't know if I want to like the responsibility of a P.O. box. I saw Stevie slipped in here. Hello, Jane Fonda. Hello, K-Buns. I think that's, I think I got everybody. Yeah, Taco Talia. I like the K-Beauty look where it's just kind of like, you just kind of smooth over the, the, the color. You know, you just basically like try to even everything out and then you just work on the eyes and then you wear a nice kind of like berry color lip. Nothing fancy. It just kind of looks nice and clean, I guess is my thing. I have I love watching people who know how to do their makeup and they do like these super elaborate looks and they they're blending like 19 colors of eyeshadow on their eyes and I'm just like that looks really cool. It also took you 20 minutes, so But all right, let's speed her up because I do plan on chopping this up and putting it out as a regular video, so I don't know how I feel about her intro windows. I guess it's better than just like jumping directly into the video, which I also don't mind. I just think I don't like the minimalism of it. Because it's, I, I just, there's something about it I don't like. And it might just be the curse of font. I might just not like the font. But anyway. Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome back to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amberlynn Read. Woo! Yay! And today we are catching up on a video that is two days old from Amber. It is I Am In A Relationship, Stepping On The Scale, and Torrid Hall. The scale part is going to be pretty interesting because, you know, we talk a lot about how Amber likes to try to manipulate the audience. And she's doing a really interesting thing right now where she's doing the whole, like, I'm only making content for my supporters, but she still addresses the non-supporters. So it's it's an interesting it's an interesting thing that we'll get to uh, when it comes up. And yeah, so if you're new to the channel, we do a we we 
do something we call dark anthropology here, where we basically kind of look at Amber through an anthropological lens, but we're focusing a lot on how Amber uses the culture around her to kind of warp and manipulate her story on the internet, which, I mean, you can argue any influencer is doing that. True. But we're focusing on Amber. So there you have that. Um, yeah, so... Thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to my members. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to everyone who's going to hit the thumbs up button. And thank you to everybody who has had patience this past week because I did move and I thought I was going to have internet. I don't know why I thought I was going to have internet. But I pre-recorded a bunch of stuff and haven't been able to get any of it out because we just got internet working. So here we are. Teeny Hat Harold. Four scoops of pre-workout today. Does pre-workout have like caffeine in it or something? I watched Chikara talk about it, but I've never really paid attention. Um, Molly says ALR's minimalism can also be called laziness. Touche. Is we the peanut gallery? We, we is, I don't know. I've always referred to myself in the plural. Just a thing I do. We are definitely the nuts. It's okay. Everybody likes peanuts. Even people who can't eat them like peanuts. That's why they're so deadly. Wait, what are you trying to get me to watch? If you're going to go to anthropology, why don't you buy something that doesn't look like crap? I guess we'll watch that next. Next, next, next. Anyway, I do have her sped up. Yes, I do. I do have her sped up to time and a quarter. And... Hello, diary. Hello, deputy. Welcome to the interns. Mwahaha. We are the operative we. We are the royal we. Oh, don't dismiss you now. I will not dismiss you. The live chat for the home audience is very active today, which is great because it makes this so much easier. Megan, I still can't believe that Amber can't figure out how to hang a picture on the wall. No, 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 Megan. It's minimalism. She's a minimalist now. <laughs> Lexi. I'm just saying, like, if you had had a peanut, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let me size this up so that it's the right, that it actually can be seen. I just noticed that. I'm the one that did it, so why didn't I notice it before? Don't ask these questions. I'm not checking my email. You can't make me. Well, I'm so glad I went through all that effort to pick a background so that you can't see it, but whatever. Whoops. Whoops. Nope. I guess I could scoot up for a little bit more. Not too much, though. I don't think that's going to make a difference. I'm just trying to make the picture as big as possible for everybody so they can see the most. There we go. All right. Now, now we're going to start. Okay. So because I opened up with you guys about how I was overeating because Trader Joe's triggered me. What is this shot? Sometimes I can't tell if she does this intentionally or not. Because this is a picture of her showing us her reflection in her refrigerator. There is a lot to unpack here, but if it's intentional, that makes it even more impactful. I just don't know if I want to give her that much credit into thinking about how she frames and shoots her videos because I know she doesn't do that. She is not in the shower now. I have already watched this one. I, if she was actually trying to be artsy, uh, Christina, then yeah, I mean, 
I can kind of give her credit for that, but this is very like bleak. There's a word for it. I'm not a film student. So what did she eat from Trader Joe's? Well, you will find out because she's going to show us all the things she didn't eat. A lot of people assumed that I ate all my Trader Joe's food. No, a lot of it I didn't even open. This is one of those weird things that she feels the need to defend herself on and it's misplaced. No one cares whether she ate all of the food or not. You didn't, if you didn't eat all of the Trader Joe's food, you still ate somewhere in the area of like 70,000 calories or something like that, according to Chikara, to gain the amount of weight that you gained in one week. So if you weren't eating the Trader Joe's food, and we already said this in the last video, even if you had, that wasn't enough food to gain eight pounds or more in a week. So clearly you were eating something else and a lot of it. So no, it doesn't matter if you ate all of the food or not. But this is Amber trying to control the narrative. This is Amber going, no, no, you guys, I didn't eat all the Trader Joe's food. Look at all the food I didn't eat. That's great, Amber. But you gained somewhere between eight to like 17 pounds or something insane like that in under a week. So what were you eating? Are you ever going to tell us? Because up until this point, everyone just assumed that you binged on Trader Joe's, which you did. All of that snack food, none of that snack food is here anymore. This is all just the frozen food that she bought for her meals. Okay. There might be some snack food left. Let me... Let's get to the end of this. Like, I haven't had the mashed potatoes. I haven't had the meatballs. Um, the majority of the TV dinners I haven't had. Haven't had the chicken tacos. Haven't had the, uh, what are these? Chicken poppers. Um, when did she buy the chicken tacos and the chicken poppers? Because I don't remember those being in the last Trader Joe haul. Um, what else was it that I got? Oh, I got this recently. Veggie chorizo. Kind of want to try that. Um... Chorizo spice is, you can put it on anything and it's delicious. Haven't even opened the chicken pot stickers. Haven't opened the Thai vegetable gyza. Why does she call the one pot stickers and the other one gyoza? And they both clearly say gyoza on the bag. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Majority of it, I didn't even touch. So I just wanted to make that clear. At least two of those items I don't remember being in the last Trader Joe haul. Did she go to Trader Joe's a second time? Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So today for me is just like a deep cleaning day, like mopping the whole nine yards. I even got a new litter box. It's just like there's steps to a litter box. You know, you clean it daily, but once a week you deep clean it. But like every other month, I like to get a completely new one. But uh, let me know, know down in the comments if you think Amber really does clean her cat box. Deep cleans her cat box weekly. I get the recycled cardboard ones so you can just throw them away the recycled cardboard you just into the trash just things like that and so that's why i'm keeping my hair up i literally just washed it yesterday it is a frizzy mess but we're just gonna like embrace it it's because it's super windy outside and i just just got back in from walking twinkie and okay and my frizzies were just like flying everywhere i actually have weighed in a couple times two to three times i don't quite remember regardless i do want to put them in here for you guys so we can have a little update on my way in okay you guys mm. there's her dead zone Making eye contact with herself and then remembering to look at the audience. Slow blink. Slow blink. No, she's just hiding her eyes. And now she's in her lies. Okay, so. Um, I know, shocker. She's not being honest. I think these are staged. <laughs> exactly. So I think that's where that was going. Okay. 
Excuse me. But yes, Celia has entered the chat. Hello, Celia. You're looking fierce today. <laughs> Did it again? Nice dress. You too. <laughs> Best part? It, it has, has pockets. <laughs> I know. I mean, that is a nice dress. I'd wear it. So let's fix this now. Sorry, guys. It's time for another. I are professional. Oh my fuck. I promise this this is gonna happen. I promise. Just stick with me. I, I don't know what's going on. All right. I'm gonna turn the sound back on. Hello. It's ready. All right. Stepping on. Four hundred and ninety point eight pounds. Four ninety point eight. What? See, I don't. I think so I think what she does and I've said this before I think she weighs herself before she films herself because she wants to know what her weight is which is why it sounds fake but she was being super deceptive in the clip leading up to this so there you have that see all that water weight that I gained from being off a track Getting back on track, I instantly lost it. Instantly. I snapped my little fingers and it fell off like it never existed. I spent all my money on Trader Joe's and Uber Eats. I mean, as long as you tip well. It is ridiculous, yeah. But she's still, like... She hasn't left the 90s yet. She's still stuck above what she had been at by two to three pounds at this point so it's not water weight or maybe it is i don't know it's very stubborn water weight sorry for all the noise i'm still getting situated okay you guys so i'm going to step on the scale with clothes um hello a lot of people don't believe my weigh-ins but i don't know Oh, why why are you this part i don't understand and this is part of the manipulation she's weighing herself in clothes she never weighs herself in clothes or at least she says she never weighs herself with clothes on i don't know if like the point of this is look you guys my clothes weigh three pounds therefore my my weight would always be off by three pounds if that were true just subtract three pounds you're doing some kind of weird math anyway. What difference does it make? But this is this is just weird in that it doesn't make a point. Remove film before use. Four hundred and ninety-two point six pounds. Okay, now point I'm gonna do it without pounds. clothes. Okay, guys, stepping on without any clothing or slippers. Oh, because the slippers were the heavy part of that outfit. Four hundred and eighty-nine point zero pounds. Four eighty-nine point zero, which is how I always weigh myself naked. Because someone needed to know that. So we're making progress. So I did step on the scale for you guys. I figured it was time. I know like, you know what? It's really strange to me. The bar constantly moves. Like no one's ever happy with my weigh-ins regardless of how I post them. Because you post them in the most shadiest way possible. That is like, who does the, who, who films themselves with the camera staring at the ceiling besides you? Like, of course people question whether your weigh-ins are valid or not. And this, again, is another part of the manipulation that she does is now she's chastising us because, look, you guys, I weighed in on camera. Now the haters have they can't say anything because I showed myself standing on the, the thing. And that's fine. But now she's like she's got that superior look in her face. She's going to give us a bunch of attitude. We're going to get a lecture about how we don't believe her. And it's just, but the behavior that leads up to the disbelief 
validates the disbelief. Like I'm, I hear a lot of people, a lot of reactors say that they do actually believe her weigh-ins because we don't actually care. <laughs> no one cares about her weight at this point anymore, really, what the exact weight is. But a lot of people who watch the videos don't because I see a lot of my comments and I see a lot of y'all say it. And that's fine. There's really valid reasons to not believe her weigh-ins. They're, they're filmed in a very sketchy way. You never see anything. She edits them in a strange way, which I don't think is her being deceptive. I just think she's a shit editor, you know, that kind of a thing. So there's a lot of reasons why people don't believe her. And the more people try to point it out to her, the more she gets defensive about it. It's kind of like the Trader Joe's food. Nobody actually cares if she ate all of the Trader Joe's food. The weight alone tells us that you were binging, you know, even if you don't want to call it that. You, you gained eight or more pounds in six days. That's insane. I don't even think I could do that if I wanted to. But that's the thing. She feels the need to shame the audience and to point out that her haters are full of crap by going, look, I didn't even eat all of this food. This isn't the fight you should be having and no one cares. You're still not proving that you aren't being dishonest in other situations that you've been called out for. You showed us one way in of, her, of yourself standing on the scale. Every single other one has been edited within an inch of its life and we're staring at the ceiling. We'll occasionally get to see the top of your forehead and maybe your poop bun. And that's it. There's no reason to believe you're doing anything other than slightly leaning into frame once in a while. You know? Anyway. Share a screenshot. I don't think it does. I don't think it has an app. from Liveville who lies. <laughs> the audience shaming is her favorite exercise. She's got to get it in somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Beyond her, her content would be the same without the way in. Like nobody's here for her weight loss content anymore. Except for like the brand new people. But those are, that's for the supporters. The supporters who want to see me step on the scale, I give it to you. We can do more like that if you would like. No. Also, not until you take that stupid film off of the stupid scale. Can you not read? Anyway, this is her, again, trying to manipulate the audience. This is just for my my supporters. I'm, I'm only doing this for my supporters, even though I opened this comment about how people don't believe me and how stupid they are. But this is just for my supporters. I'm, I'm ignoring, she's like, you know how when your cat's mad at you and it sits really close to you and turns its back to you and then occasionally shoots you daggers over its shoulder because it wants you to know that it's ignoring you. That's what she's doing here. She's telling us that she's ignoring us by telling us that she's ignoring us but there's just physically no way I could have faked that. I was standing in the middle of my bathroom. You guys watched me turn on. So what was that jump cut for? The scale, I don't really know, but regardless, I am back to my lowest weight and I'm very happy about that. It happened really quickly because I knew I gained a lot of water weight. And so it left my body quickly. I knew that the weight that I gained when I was like off track for those six days. Do you guys think she takes diuretics? Like, do you think she takes water pills when she gains weight like this? When she's like, oh, it's just water weight. Watch, I'll show you. I mean, that'll that'll make you drop the weight pretty fast. And you can get them over the counter. So, you think you got, I don't know. Wasn't real. I'm just throwing it out there. I have no evidence one way or the other, so. Wait, and I think that's why, like, I had a moment where I was, like, super upset with myself. And, like, I did cry because it's, like, I was doing so good. But I think that's why, like, I was able to pick myself back up. Normally, during times like this, like, where I gain weight, I just continue. Thank you, Taco Talia. You to do so. I stay off a of track, like I don't care because it gets to me. It gets in my head. But I feel like I've improved. My mentality has drastically improved. Like let's be real, in like several different areas of my life. And this definitely involves. Which would be what? 
It's not your eating. It's not your coping. It's not your mentals. Because if it were any of those things, you wouldn't have spent a week binging to the point where you gained a bunch of weight. So what areas of your life has improved? And congratulations, everybody who got a membership. Stevie Megan, Citizen Cardigan, <laughs> and Curvy Asparagus. Oh, and Valerie Joe. I don't know why you were so late to the game. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, algorithm. How are you? Helps weight loss as well. So instead of gaining those 10 pounds and regretting it, but continuing the pattern, I gained those 10 pounds, regretted it, and told myself, you're better than this. Let's pick it back up and get back on track. Like So here we're, this is New Lynn. This is New Lynn talking. I've talked about New Lynn before. Amber is constantly trying to reinvent herself and it's been an ongoing struggle for her since wifey. Go zoom tight. And. You all right? Can I do this without you sneezing? You good? Where was I? Ah, yes. And so this is just another way that Amber's trying to reinvent herself. Areas of my life are improving. They're better than they've than they've ever been before. What areas? I'm at my new I'm at my lowest weight, 590. Girl, you started at like 350. How is this your lowest weight? Your lowest weight in a decade? Yeah. Uh and then this other stuff that this other uh, I'm only doing this for my supporters. I'm ignoring my haters by directly telling them that I'm ignoring them. Just, just ignore us. It's fine. We d we'll figure it out. <laughs> when you block us, it's easy to figure out that you're ignoring us. <laughs> you know, it's just, this is, she's, she's either recently got an influx of new viewers and she's trying to show them that she's not the person that the old viewers are telling her telling them that she is or she's courting new viewers and or a new girlfriend um because she's really die hard trying to push that she is a new person so like in the past i'd be sitting here right now with another three or four pounds gained 100 percent I'd be going in the opposite direction that I'm going now. So anyways, I'm just really happy about that. So I want to give you guys that update. So some of you have been like, I know my closet's crazy. Some of you have been like, same girl, same. Oh my God, like where's the torrid holes? No one, literally no one is asking this question. Amber has said, oh my God, where are my torrid halls? So I did go to torrid. No, I didn't. I didn't go there. I ordered from there. Sorry. And I spent $500. I wish I could drive $500 on random clothes just on a whim because i could she can go to torrid so why doesn't she she's shown us herself in torrid go to torrid buy clothes at torrid show us you buying said clothes at torrid it would be fine even if it was just like a shirt and a pair of jeans or a pair of shoes at least it's content. This is you standing in your closet showing off that sweater that I desperately want and telling me that you're going to throw away a bunch of clothes again and that you've just spent more money on clothes in one trip than I spend in probably two years. $500 on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Here is one. It's like, and none of, I can't see any of these clothes and I'm not trying to be too big of a dick here, but the size that she wears is so large it really kind of looks like she's just holding up like bed sheets and it's just like look here's a dress i guess if you say so the best i can say is hey look at this drape of fabric i have no idea what the cut looks like i don't know if it fits you i don't i don't know anything about the clothes that you're holding up because you don't even take like a cut out from the website so that i can see what it's supposed to look like you know it's it's kind of pointless and it's really just a brag. She's really just bragging that she dropped $500 on clothes. It's kind of like the purse thing that she used to do where she was like, oh my God, you guys, I actually bought these just for this chick. 
oh my god you guys it's time for me to do a, an exchange between my purse so i'm gonna move all of my stuff out of my my wallet purse out of this one and then i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in this one and i'm gonna make you guys watch me move all of my my wads of cash into my new wallet and then fill it up with all of my credit cards and my new my new wallet it's just bragging it's just it's just one of the ways that she flexes. I don't want to put that there. That's dirty. I really did buy two Pusheen wallets, though. I expect high praise. <laughs> but that's kind of my point, though. Like, it's totally, it's a flex for her. And this is just a flex that she hasn't pulled on us in a while, to be, to be honest. Uh, Jane. Jane Fonda, do not give her ideas because the next thing she's going to be telling us is that she's 210 pounds. Jeez. She's not going to tour it because it means walking. $500 inclusive. Yeah, that we'll we'll see that coming up too. Hello, Mike. Excuse me again. I'm so sorry. Behold her latest tarp. Not broke. Uh, Valentine bought that Lego for her. She totally didn't buy it for herself. Because I know my significant others in the past have always spent four hundred dollars on legos for me in a go yeah megan the point the hall is pointless if there's no try-ons purses are very cute thank you Ruby. Yes, I need seven lip glosses, three pairs of sunglasses, and a goldfish in a bag. You're not that far off from what I usually have in my purse. Like this dress and the neckline goes up to here, which I love sometimes. And the arms goes are up, like goes up to where? Bell arms. But I do feel like it's just too frumpy for me. It's so frumpy for me, you guys, because I lost two pounds and all that water weight. I'm really only 350 pounds, you guys. So all of these clothes, they're just too big for me now. And then I got this crazy thing. So I love it. I think it's super cute, but I definitely will feel more comfortable in this once I lose weight. It is a very long shirt. It's kind of like a shirt dress. Anytime I see that kind of fabric, I just think of all of like that 1950s retro futurism stuff. Where everybody's wearing like the skin tight bodysuits that are made out of like tin foil. It's all it's all I can think. Anytime I see anything in that kind of fabric, it, it doesn't matter who's wearing it. Um, it just doesn't look good on me right now. Got this, which it's kind of frumpy too. It's white with black stripes. Really? Is that what it is? I couldn't I couldn't tell that part. What does she mean they're frumpy? And doesn't she have this exact fucking same like it's literally the same fabric? And look, here it is again. Girl likes her black and white stripes, eh? And I wish I would have gotten a size smaller. And then there's a size smaller, you guys. She's so tiny now. She just she doesn't fit any of her clothes. That's why she had to spend five hundred dollars on clothes that don't fit. And here's the other thing: return them, exchange them, take them into the store and exchange them. I'm sure now that you're this felt whatever size you're trying to convince yourself that you are, you can buy off rack and torrid now actually one of the dresses i have already worn which i'll post here so this is one of my new ones which i loved a lot i do actually kind of like that dress but i like dress i like those poof sleeves and i like the buttons down the front hello bob how are you non try on haul uh curvy Apparently you weren't here when she mentioned that people, lots of people, this is highly, highly requested content from people. The people behind her eyes. 
you know more than three no deputy she does not nat yes amber has done actual try-ons in the past and it has always shown how out of breath she gets just changing her clothes to show us the outfits this is the closest we're going to get to a try-on and the only reason she's showing us this is because she already had the dress on so then over here in my clean clothes pile that i have to put away my clean clothes pile i have a closet though um i've already worn this i didn't vlog i didn't film any tiktoks nothing just I didn't do my job or anything. What is it with her in sheer clothes? It's like the sheer blue situation. Uh huh. Um, oh my god, it looks so much better in person. Then... It probably looks better on a physical body. It is clothing. Right here, it looks like you're literally holding up half a bolt of cloth. And another thing, which I have in a box. I actually just went through my closet. I'm like rearranging it. I'm getting rid of a ton of clothes. But I got this dress. I'm getting rid of a ton of clothes? When have we heard that a million times? And I was like, if I don't like it on me, I know my mom will like it because she likes bees. Let me go get it. Hold on. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you since it's frumpy on me. What does she mean by frumpy? Frumpy's not really a descriptor. I don't know if I like that pattern. I like bees, but I don't really know if I like that pattern. It's probably not going to fit her. It might be too big. Actually, Girl, if it doesn't... I have seen your mother. I will say your mother's probably on like the size 12 to 16 end of plus size. I would be swimming in that because I'm in that same range too. The, yeah, it's going to be too big for your mom. I couldn't even use that like a sleep shirt. It's so big. It would just fall off of me. It's probably going to do the same thing for your mom. Unless your mom has gained a crap ton of weight. Actually, I know it will be. But maybe she can use it like as a sleep nighty. I don't know. But regardless... I'm sure she's going to appreciate it and want to try it on, but it's just a bunch of like uh, bumblebees and dots. I'm pretty sure there was a couple other things, but I'm just not. She's pulling that whole like, I don't even remember what I ordered, you guys. She used to do that a lot. Oh my God, I got this package in the mail. I don't even remember what I ordered. <laughs> uh, don't you Don't you guys do that all the time? You just order a bunch of stuff and don't remember what you ordered? No. Never, never occurred to me that that might happen. Um, but again, this is this is just flexing. And maybe uh, somebody mentioned it way, way, way earlier that maybe financial situation is go doing better for her. And maybe this is, you know, the first time she's been able to flex like this. And so she's just going ham. Hey, wait, Duvet. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, Alexi, too. She's She already has clothes to get rid of. When did she get all of these clothes? We never saw any of it. I don't think she's purchased clothes since she moved in, has she? Was she buying those dresses from Amazon while she was in Kentucky? Or did she buy those after she moved? I know she bought some sheets and she bought those slippers. But I can't remember her buying clothing until she redresses a mannequin. Fair. You know what? If Amber went and did that, at least she was doing something. Ruby, I, I don't know. I've never heard her return anything. She always just holds on to it, so... If she spent money she doesn't have, she's going to be up Sheets Creek. <laughs> My body is changing. I'm waiting for her to start pulling out some more glitterisms because she already was doing that earlier. Um, during that whole trying to explain how math works and therefore TDE TD -E -E doesn't work for her because reasons. Oh my god, the Chikara reaction to that is... Mwah. Just chef's kiss. <clears throat> you guys are cracking me up. Constant hands in the constant hands in the air. 
username. Well, yeah, notice she didn't show us the pile of things she's getting rid of. I don't know, I'm not quite remembering, but I did get a lot of underwear and some of them I haven't even opened. Oh my God. Like I got these light purple lace. These are like a uh, forest green and there's like- If you say so, they look black to me. Some black lace on them. You guys can't even really see it. Nope. Black lace. I mean, you could take them out of the bag and hold them up to the light, but I really don't want to see your underwear, so your underwear is like two to three pairs of mine, so. Pink with some polka dots and also some lace. <laughs> I love lace. And then this is like my favorite underwear from them, which I might just like stock up on it and like get a lot more. It's just. I'm not trying to be weird. Because maybe some people out there do have, like, a pair of underwear for every day of the month. How, how many pairs of underwear do you have? And why? Like, you just showed us the purple, the green, the pink, and now these black ones. That's four pairs. We will assume that you have others. Because you said you haven't even opened some of these, so there must be other ones somewhere. How many pairs of underwear do you need? Am I just that weird? I mean, maybe I'm weird. Black with a little torrid on top. I just think it's so cute. But yeah, like torrid is so expensive and it's just like, I don't know. Torrid is just so expensive. <gasps> I don't know. <sighs> yeah? You still spent $500 on clothes though. Is this like when you got the wrong sandwich? The shopping trip, hit or miss. It was slightly a miss. You literally can return anything you don't like and they will give you your money back. They'll either re they'll either charge it back to your credit card or they'll give you store credit. You don't have to act like you've dropped so much money that you don't have because you can just do what Glitter and Lasers does and just send it back. But since you're not good at doing clothing hauls, you don't know that. Okay, so for those of you who have been asking about my lego the batman shadow box that valentine got me i want to give she always okay when she says valentine i don't know if anybody else has noticed this she always has to like it seems like she always has to take a pause and remember that she's saying valentine that uh valentine got me you know she i just i feel like she always has like that mental pause right before she says valentine because it feels like she's forgetting that she's supposed to be saying valentine an update so i'm not finished yet but this is how it is looking so far look at all that it is so cool like this part you can like turn the thing in the back and you get to see all that go down these chairs move Ooh. over here like this opens by the way <laughs> yeah it does but my table isn't like big enough for this so it's been a challenge i like the lego to build it but i love a challenge um this I love a challenge as long as it's not no takeout, don't eat sweets, only cook home cooked meals, lose weight, go for a walk every day, walk a mile, lose a hundred pounds in a year. Uh, what other challenges? Uh, fix my hair so that it doesn't look like a natty mess all the time. It any challenge I, i'm up for a challenge as long as it's not a challenge where i have to do something this for just will make her look like a baked potato i don't know man torrid clothes really are expensive megan uh, there was a dress there. It was like the perfect dress that I was been looking. I've been looking for. I finally found it someplace much cheaper. But they had the dress, and I was like, "Damn, that is the dress I've been looking for." It's a kind of a cottage core style dress. It's white with uh, bold blue flowers on it, and it kind of looks like a piece of blue willow. And I'm like, "That's what I want. I want to look like blue willow." And so I went to go see how much it was, and it was like a ninety dollar dress or something ridiculous like that. And I'm like. Nah, it's fine. I don't need to look like Blue Willow that badly. This goes up as well. But yeah, that's how it's looking so far. I still have quite a bit to do. It has honestly been so fun. Here's the back of it. I've been trying to take my time. I'm just so appreciative. 
that Valentine got me this. Like, it's so sweet. Um, speaking of Valentine, there's something I have to tell you guys. You still haven't learned how to prop the camera up on something where it's not in the way, where the, the freaking something's not hanging into the lens. That's what you needed to tell me. This, this is her laziness. This is her thinking she's going to be cute and not use her, her tripod. And she's stuck the camera up on a shelf. Actually, interestingly, I did watch the Mr. Snowflake's reaction to this. And he kind of pointed out that she's using the shelf to hide her size. Because the shelf, as she has it, it doesn't frame her. Her head's not in frame. She's not using the golden ratio or anything like that. Her room looks like an Airbnb. And... But what she's doing is she's using the shelf to block everything from like her cleavage down. So you don't see the rest of her body. So it's just one of, it's an optical illusion for her. You do have a little plant in your way. Let me move that. So Instagram kind of already knows this because things are revealed over there. So if you want to follow my Instagram, you definitely should. Because I definitely need followers over on Instagram. I'm surprised she didn't tell us to go to TikTok. Look down in the description box. But because it would be far too hard for me to tell you on the actual video. My Instagram's tiny blue anthropologist. But if you guys remember this video, there is someone in my life that I would say is special um, in that way. I have been friends with this person since September and we have become really good friends and like the whole time crushing on each other. But we asked each other to be each other's valentines. So that was like a cute thingy. And that video was actually filmed days before valentine's day actually was it's important to her that we know that because she doesn't she doesn't want people thinking that this occurred after valentine's it's very important to her that this person who she's been talking to wanted to be significant with her before actual valentine's and i'm not entirely sure why um but the timeline for her is very important here. And I'm wondering if it's another way that she's trying to like throw people off the scent of who the girl is. Um, so I don't know if she's been all over Instagram and stuff. And I've, I know people have said that she's been flirting on Facebook and things. She's just constantly online, isn't she? But on Valentine's Day, Valentine asked me to be her girlfriend, and I did say yes, obviously. I've had a girlfriend for over two months now, and I've been in a relationship, and I've been happy. Oh, Gunnarat. Were you here for the black, the sheer black dress that she just wore a bra, and I forget what, I think she had like a black skirt on underneath it. Like, literally. She just wore a bra with a black skirt and this sheer black top over the top of it, and then decided to dance. So yeah, she probably does wear it without anything on underneath it. And I just didn't want to say anything like really in my vlogs yet. I just didn't feel like I needed to. I used to overshare. I used to like not have privacy. And it's just, as you get older, your brain works a little differently. And I've just learned sharing too much is not a good thing, especially right now. But I did want to let you guys know that I am in a relationship that has been a question that you guys have been wondering. So I've literally no one has been wondering this. I am not convinced it's a real person, but there are plenty of people who have pointed out that you're behaving the same way you do when you're in, when you're newly in a relationship. So something's going on. I'll believe it when I see the person. So. Did, did Beck, did Beck announce their new relationship on Valentine's Stevie? Is that what happened? When do you get to meet her? I know I about died when he did that. When do you get to meet her? Ampaman, <laughs> when do you get to meet her? <laughs> He's so on point though. I figured, you know what? Yes, there's no longer single in. So that's all I really want to say for now. Besides that, I'm really happy. I'm starting to like blush a little bit. Not Are you? Not gonna lie. Just. Sure. It feels kind of wild to just like vocalize out loud on my YouTube channel that, yeah say you're not vocalizing vocalizing is what singers do you are talking yes i am in another relationship anyways i don't want to like say too much um but you guys will learn more slowly but surely um 
But yeah, I just want to do it on my time, on her time, our time collectively. I want to be fair to her, fair to me, fair to us as a whole. Hey guys, I've been waiting for this package today. That's mainly why I haven't fixed my hair at all today. Oh my god, this is... So apparently TikTok has discovered detangler brushes. Normally I would have at least like fixed the bun. So I haven't seen this hairbrush on TikTok. It's called the Unbrush Untangle. So I was like, oh, we're going to try that because people act like it just is the best thing that's been ever invented. So I'm like, okay. So I kind of want to try like half of my hair with my normal everyday brush, which has hair in it. So don't mind that. Oof. That brush makes me scared. I don't I don't use brushes like that on my hair anymore. I know I'm I'm bougie. My my brushes are made out of bamboo and uh boar bristle. So <laughs> there though. And then my cat discovered that she likes rubbing her face on it. So now I no longer have the boar bristle brush that actually belongs to my cat. And then this is the unbrush. Wow, it's like light. This feels cheap. Well, I don't understand. I don't get the hype. Because it's made out of plastic. So let's do a review. So, wow, she is cr wow. I don't want to brush my hair. Oh my God. I feel like I look so pretty. <gasps> wow. Um, wait, am I rethinking this whole situation? I feel like my hair just is hairy. <laughs> like my hair is hairy. I don't know what to say. Neither do I. It's still a little- That's right, baby. Pout for the camera. Whatever shall I do? Do I brush out my hair to show all of my, my audience, you know, this item that all of the influencers are using? Or do I leave my hair cute and, and like it is now? What, what should I do? It's such a hard decision. A little bit wet from when I washed it, as you can see. But it looks so good. I mean, to be fair, the waves do look nice. Like, so weirdly good. Okay, so this is my regular hairbrush. So, you know, pull some hairs. Oh, please stop. Have that. Okay, if your hairbrush makes that noise, some people don't know this. If your hairbrush makes that noise, your ends are fried and you need to take them off and you need to stop using that brush because all you're doing is damaging your hair further, which is why your ends are fried. Do yourself a favor. Get rid of these plastic ass brushes. Get yourself something natural. The boar bristle stuff works great. Get a detangler comb or a detangler brush like she's going to show us here in a minute. Your hair will thank you and give it like 30 days and your hair will look better too. Your hair should not sound like you're taking a bite out of an apple when you're brushing it. It doesn't like hurt by no means. Let's take a final look at these curls. Wow, so pretty. All right, let's try it. Do you hear it catching at the end? She, she pulls it through and it's fine. And then she gets to the end and it goes <coughs> as she pulls it through her ends because her ends are all fried. So they, they catch up and they knot together. I get it. People say literally it just runs through your knots and like it doesn't hurt or pull. <gasps> doesn't hurt or pull as I brush it in a way that indicates that I'm pulling it so that it doesn't catch in the hair. I know what you're doing. I see what they're saying. I will say like a lot of the reviews are like, oh my God, I didn't even feel it. That's not true. Cause I definitely did. But I will say it does go through it like so smooth. And I purposely chose this side because it has more hair. So I figured it had more knots and it just seemed easier. Touch up on the hair talk. The way she admires herself is so gross. You're feeling yourself, feel yourself. I, you know, it's, it's, somebody's got to tell her she's pretty. The hairy hair, hairlin. Yeah, Stevie, start at the bottom, not the top to get the kinks out first. Hairy. You know, Lee, that's a good point. Your unbrush did not do the same thing. Is that what it's called as an unbrush? Kinky hair that has to be wet. Ooh, 
Ooh, come back. I was reading that. Yeah, kinky hair. It has to be wet. You need conditioner in it and you start at the bottom. You don't just start brushing your hair in the middle of, or at the scalp. Exactly. Even, even without kinky hair, you don't do it that way. We've known that since the Victorian era, probably even before that. Yeah, I mean, the kitchen scissors don't help. Pop. Well, at least she didn't, she wasn't around for the Tide Pod challenge, so. Conspiracy Mama Canada. Ooh. That is a little scary. The original is called the other brush. It's just a detangler brush. You can get one at probably Walmart for a dollar. I'm just saying. I have a detangler comb that I've I, I, I've used it forever. Um, and I have a detangler brush that's made with again bamboo. Uh, and the, the, what do you call them? The prongs are all thick, rounded, smoothed bamboo. So it doesn't tug and catch your hair. And they weren't that expensive. I think it was $5 for the set. So you don't have to spend a crap ton of money. Now, if you do spend a crap ton of money on your hair care supplies, they better like fucking work. Because that's how i think things should if i spend a lot of money on something it better work better than anything i've ever used before in my life but to just do basic hair care to the point where your hair doesn't look fried all the time you really don't need to spend a ton of money you just need to have the right tools and i mean if you've got straight hair probably don't brush it while it's well definitely don't brush it while it's wet you just want to detangle it so it dries flat and People with the curly and the kinky hair, I mean, you clearly have a different routine that you need to follow, but it's not hard to find out, you know? Bob, yeah, that's something we've talked about before. Um, she's obsessed with herself and can't stand herself in two different parts of her brain. Yes, it, you don't have to convince me that she has, that she has self-loathing for herself she's even said as much before and i believe her when she says it but she's also got a lot of like ah oh crap i lost the words but anyway she she definitely thinks very highly of herself at the same time she's always right she's always the smartest she's always the prettiest guys can't not hit on her you know women are intimidated by her she's always the top the best but i but you don't look like this if you love yourself, you know? This is not the, the body or the appearance or just the health of someone who loves themselves unconditionally like she says she does now. You can see me using it on dry hair. Oh, hey, how'd the color remover work? I got it with the Danger Jones stuff just to get free shipping window. Oh, that's funny. Ah, I'm fading away. Here we go. I'm actually thinking about taking the color out of my hair and starting over because I don't... I don't like that it's like cranberry. I wasn't going for cranberry. Worked better and gave very little breakage. Oh, it's a bleach, bleach base. I don't want to bleach my hair. Uh, it's tempting, but I don't want to bleach my hair. All right, let's finish this up. Sorry. So, okay. I get the hype, but I am about to put my hair back in a bun. I'm not going to lie to you. And I went back to using that same crappy brush that I used at the beginning. 2017 bun when I wore scrunchies in my hair. <laughs> that was 2019 and 2020 and 2021 and earlier in this video. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to get ready for bed. I hope that you guys... She is, as we like to say, relaxed. Enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, I did not. Um, I think I analyzed the crap out of it as best I could, and I'm starting to view these as challenges now. Like, like you know, you're in school, 
and your professor gives you a really hard to do analysis project and they purposefully give you something that's difficult to analyze or something that seems simple on the surface, but that's because they want you to go deeper. Um, that's how I'm viewing these. So, all right. So, all right. If you've made it this far in the video, let's just close this one out fast. If you've made it this far in the video, um, what have we learned? What have we learned? We learned that Amber is recreating herself again, unsurprising. We've learned that she is trying to convince her new viewers, I'm assuming, that she is this amazing influencer and that she doesn't lie and she's overcoming her weight problems and her life is improving because she loves herself and yada, yada, yada. So we're living through this storyline right now. At the same time, she's talking down to and shaming her haters because that's her pastime and that that's the cycle that's how these things work it that the, the ecosystem is the reactors and the haters say things about amber amber reacts to what we say and we react to what amber says it's the give and the take the ebb and the flow it's fine um what else happened uh we she tells us she cleans and then for once doesn't show us her cleaning at all. She mentions she's going to clean the house and cl deep clean the cat box. And she tells us about a cat box that she bought, but we don't see any of it. Oh, she hauls a bunch of clothes that doesn't, she just tells us she spent $500 on clothes and just shows us the clothes, but doesn't try any of it on. So she doesn't even talk about the fabric or anything. She's worse She's worse at clothing hauls than Glitter and Lasers is, and Glitter and Lasers is not great at them. And what was the final thing? Oh, we, we learned that Amber has discovered what a detangler brush is. I'm not going to let it go. It's a detangler brush. They've existed forever. Uh, so there's that. that. That's what we've learned. And yeah, all right. Now, if you've made it this far, go ahead and put a hairbrush emoji down in the comment section i'm assuming there's a hairbrush there might not be uh if not get creative and yeah thank you to everybody who has the uh, english thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel thank you to my subscribers thank you to my members thank you to the live chat uh thank you to everybody who's going to give a thumbs up and i will see everybody in the next one bye Bathtub Mary. Yeah, Glitter and Lasers is really bad at clothing hauls. She calls really expensive clothing cheap feeling and then calls really cheap clothing feeling really expensive. It's very strange. It's like she literally doesn't know. Yeah, no, Bob, you're right. I He says, uh, I believe her when she says she doesn't like herself, but also basically um, has fun at times when checking herself out and being so proud of non-accomplishments. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's the weird and interesting part about Amber. Like, she doesn't like herself, but yet she's the cutest thing that's ever lived. She's constantly duck lipping the camera. She's not making duck lips for the audience she's not making duck lips for her girlfriends she's making duck lips for herself it's like when she feeds herself the feederism i think she does do some content for that because she knows she has those viewers but really she's watching herself eat she's feeding herself she is both the feeder and the feedy so well that's a pretty one megan room <laughs> What comes up when you type hair? The broom. <laughs> we found a hair pick. That works. All right. I'm going to be right back. Um, I'm going to blank the camera out because I'm going to run up and I'm going to come back with a bowl of soup. So and then we will jump and do the lunch and therapy can can Canada vlog. I want to call it Canadia. Don't ask. Anyway. So I will be right back. Everybody take five. Go to the bathroom. Get yourself a drink. And I will be right back. Bonk.
Okay, sorry, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Link. The bald. Bald people are acceptable. Staying off to walk to work. Bye, K-Buns. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I have my soup. It is delicious black bean and ham soup. I'm still doing the uh, high carb Hannah diet, but I add little bits of meat to her recipes. All right, so. That's all right. Need salt. This is Lunch and Therapy Canada Vlog. I'm going to actually speed foodie up to like time and a half. Because she's really slow. Um, is there anybody out there? Welcome back, garlic breath and farts. Um, oh, that's me. Why is that there? That's so weird. So anyway, all right, this is a lunch and therapy. I just kind of really want to watch this part because of the therapy. Um, I do watch Milk Tea Reacts, or just Milk Tea, I think. And she had mentioned that Foodie was going to basically go to like one appointment and then never go back. So there was basically no point, excuse me, to the, to the appointments, you know, because foodie has been saying she's going to go back to Kuwait. So. And this. The part where Foodie talks about going to the therapist. Kind of backs up everything Milk Tea was saying about it. So. Um, you saw your setup. That's not redundant. Don't worry. But yes. Um. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to look at here. Let's start recording. There we go. Do I still have sound? Yes. Have I screwed anything up? No. Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome to an anthropologist watches Foodie Beauty. And here we are. We're watching Foodie Beauty. We're watching her on her channel because this video is only 10 minutes long and I do have her sped up to time and a half. This is, as I said earlier, Lunch and Therapy Canada vlog and we have a live audience, which, you know, I'm enjoying. So I also have soup. So if you see me eating, that's because I'm eating. All right. As I as I was saying, the really the only part that I really care about is the therapy part, but we'll plow through the rest of this. I don't think I'll make the same commitment to Foodie as I've made to Amber, where I'm like, I'm going to watch every minute of every Amber video because there's really no point to a lot of these things. Sometimes she's just rambling or driving or there's chunks that can be cut out. It will, however, make her videos very short when I react to them, but sometimes you need short form content too. Anyway, thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. Thank you to the live chat. And thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. Yeah. And then let's, let's get started. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out to hear from you. I like the little, um, I like the little Main Street though. It's really pretty. I like historical areas like this. And that's a mall if I've ever seen one. I might be wrong, but it looks like a mall to me. Hey guys, welcome back to another Canada vlog. So I'm here picking up uh, my aunt so that we can have a day together. Um, we're gonna go have lunch and do some errands, some shopping, and then I have a therapy appointment in the afternoon. So yeah, it's gonna be a full day for me. It is quite rainy, which is kind of disappointing because we wanted to go on a nature walk. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but anyways, um, yeah, so come along with me again today in this vlog. Yes, let's go. Yep. I like her glasses. I know Milk Tea doesn't like them. I like her glasses. Something we should talk about before we get too far into the video 
is the duality between Miriam and Chantel. And we were just talking about Amber and how Amber's trying to like reinvent herself. Uh, it is very arguable that Am uh, Amber, <laughs> that Foodie has been trying to reinvent herself for what, a year now, going on a year and a half since she decided she was Muslim and moved to Kuwait. Now, another thing I'll t address is the revert thing. Foodie refers to herself as a revert. I had a lot of people leaving comments and questions about WTF is revert. And so I looked it up and apparently like it's not a thing. Um, so there's like apparently two, two forms of thought on this. There's the people who are um, on the, the, the side of, I think it's, please correct me if I am wrong, but cause everything I know I found on the internet. I guess there's a passage where Muhammad says that everyone is born a Muslim and it's their parents that make them non-Muslim, basically. So when they come from, when they come back to the true religion, then they are reverting. And so uh, there's a group of, there's a, a whole group of people that are like, that's why you refer to them as reverts. And then there's people who are like, no, it's still converting. You're still converting to Islam. So, and and I've seen that comment coming from people who identify as being Muslim. So, uh, it seems to be both ways. Fudi refers to herself as a revert. I was referring to her as a revert. I, I don't know if I will continue to do so because I don't know how uh like tone deaf that is so i don't know but anyway back to the miriam slash chantel thing so chantel uh foodie took a new name when she converted and she named herself miriam which is a beautiful name but i like the name chantel too but you will notice that when she is acting the part of miriam that she has her very sweet voice now she's done all of these traits before but these are, but she has now assigned them to the character of Miriam. And Miriam is sweetly spoken and softly spoken and positive and uh, just like a good person. And then there's Chantel, who does pop out occasionally. And Chantel is, is the foodie that we've all grown to love. Love. The one that rages, the one that's constantly doing schmettables the the one that's like always chasing tail that kind of a thing so in these curated videos like this we'll see miriam for the most part because again miriam is the character that foodie is trying to cultivate when we go look at the live later in a different video um probably we will see Chantel pop out a few times. And I find, I think the live will be a little bit more interesting in that aspect, just because we'll be able to identify when we're Miriam and when we're Chantel. All right. So this is play acting between two characters. This isn't saying that there's something going on with Foodie. All right. So. There's also a Muslim that's not being raised that way. Uses revert as well. Yeah, some the whole revert thing, like some people are here for it and some people aren't. And I've seen people who identify as Muslim saying revert's cool. And I've seen people who are Muslim saying they don't know why you would call it that. It's still converting. And so there's obviously a debate. It doesn't look like it's like heated or like, you know, people are at odds over it. There's just clearly two different sides to the conversation as far as the term revert. So there you have that. Now you know everything I know from the Internet. That's a good one, Shelly. Molly. <laughs> Touche. Uh, is McDougal the... Crap, what is that one? Uh, he does the Carbolicious Diet. I'm liking the high carb. I like high carb, Hannah. I just have to add meat. 
her, her recipes most of the time. And salt. <laughs> They're very bland. But that's okay. A little bit of salt fixes everything. Let's hop back in here. So, another birthday gift. I got a pink Yeti. So yeah, because I like Yeti and I used to have a blue one. That was a gift also <laughs> from a beezer. And uh, yeah, I love this color. So it keeps my water cold. Why does she keep looking over in that, that direction? When I'm out driving around the whole time. By the way, I can easily get an international driver's license. Why does she look over there so frequently? It's really weird. Hmm. Or driver's license over there in Kuwait. But it's not the same as driving here. So, um, no, I don't really enjoy driving over there, you know. So, um, I'm going to be a passenger princess when I'm there. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, we are eating at a vegetarian restaurant today. It is actually quite a delicious place I've eaten here. Foodies, that, that glancing over in the corner thing kind of reminds, I'm, this is going to sound weird, it kind of reminds me of a thing that my partner does. He's not real good with eye contact. He's better, but like he gets uncomfortable with it quickly. And so he'll look, uh-oh. There we go. Have I been freezing this whole time? Anyway, he'll, he'll look away real fast and then he'll come back to the, to the eye contact. And it's a, it's a spectrum thing. And it just, that whole behavior just kind of reminds me of that. I know she's never been diagnosed or anything like that, so that's fine. But it's just an interesting tick. Hmm. Here before. Here's a glimpse at their menu or part of it. They give you a pitcher of nice cold water to drink while you are there. Most places will give you water to drink. So my aunt wanted to show that she had the soup of the day, which was tomato and lentil, and she had a falafel sandwich on gluten-free bread. Mm. She loves it. And I had a pad thai, though it's not like traditional pad thai, but it's like noodles with like a peanut kind of sauce with vegetables. It was actually really good. Kind of a vegetarian pad thai. I don't know if they use fish, fish sauce. Um, but I mean, I've had vegetarian pad thai and I liked it. I love falafel. Mmm, that's good stuff. I thought this display at the tattoo place next door really cool. <laughs> All right, time for my therapy appointment. I'm just waiting in the waiting room now. And now we are at the dam. Hey guys, so I just finished at my therapy session. Um, now, granted, when I made the appointment, I told them I was planning on making this an ongoing effort to address my mental health. Because it was the only way I could get them to see me. You know, because I was planning on staying here. So then the main focus of this <clears throat> session, and, and the therapist was very on point, you know, just by little things I would tell her about my story, like recent story, sort of the past few years. She talked about grief, you know, grieving things that I still haven't really grieved. You know, parts of me who I was, not necessarily a bad thing grieving, but sometimes when there's change, whether it's good or bad, you grieve parts of things that are changing. But it was nice to have my feelings validated, especially since I don't know anybody really who understands me wanting to go back to Kuwait. But this therapist did. And she gave me a lot of reasons why I would want to go back there based on what I told her. And my feelings were validated. And they also came up with a lot of resources for me to have access to healthcare um, remotely. Um, there's some binge eating uh, program resources, addiction services, and the mental adult mental health program, which is like covered by OHIP, it's like a year and a half wait. So for like one-on-one -on -one counseling. So we'll just see. Um, I have some resources. They also suggested help me pick out resources in Kuwait. So the focus is to also have access to some resources there, which there are community centers, but they're Islamic, you know? So they made a good point that a lot of it's probably gonna be through a religious perspective, which makes sense. And, you know, being a revert, you know, they suggested finding other revert expat groups that might be support. So. They also started, I told them, you know, socializing. I isolate a lot because socializing, getting out there is kind of overwhelming when I'm feeling, you know, down. 
So they suggested just going out in public without socializing. So just going out more. So there's things I have that I have to work on, but I feel more confident having gone through this session. It's definitely not a waste of time. And they're one phone call away if I ever need another one whenever I need it. So yeah, that's my therapy update. It's actually super nice out here. So the thing with the therapy is, hang on. I saw somebody put a red flag. You don't trust therapists to have motivational crap on the walls. Why? I, okay, so the thing about the therapy, first off, she admits that she kind of lied about staying in Canada to the therapist. Um, it sounds like she kind of came clean about it during the session. Um, excuse me. And the, the thing is... You don't have to convince me that Foodie has a lot of shit to work through, all right? But she's not willing to do it. I don't know what's prompted this particular foray into therapy, but you're not going to convince me that she's going to do telehealth with them while she's in Kuwait. First off, the hours are going to be damn near impossible to line up. And secondly, it's effort. And it's hard effort and she's not going to do it. The same reason why Amber won't do it because it's not just a one and done kind of thing where you go in and they just pat you on the head and they're like, oh, you're just suffering from grief. You'll be fine. I don't doubt that she is. Okay. I don't doubt that she's got fear and she's scared and she's got all of this negative emotion that she's never worked through. Okay. But one appointment doesn't fix that thing. I mean, I'm glad that she felt validated after talking to this one therapist for an hour, maybe 45 minutes, you know. But unless she follows up with it, it's not, it doesn't mean anything. It's not going to do anything. And, you know, but it feels like she's, it feels like she's like, ha, I went to the therapist once. Now I'm all better the therapist validated my feelings, therefore I've always been correct and the rest of you can suck a toe kind of a thing. And she's like, and I never need to go back because I'm fine kind of a thing. And it's, it's the exact wrong way to do therapy. It's how therapy doesn't work. Um, but I thought it was interesting that she even went in the first place because I really don't know why she's going to the therapy or why she decided to go to the therapist here. Um, because it kind of came out of nowhere, but I don't. I also don't follow every single word Foodie says, so it could have been a part of a discussion somewhere, and I just missed it. Yeah, Def Deputy Slim, she keeps looking for a new mirror, a solution outside of herself. Yeah, it like with Amber. Amber, like, we've talked about this, how Amber rewrites her past in a way that makes her be, makes her a victim, but it also allows her to remove herself from agency with her past. Moody, I feel like, has rewritten her history in a way that, like, she was always in control, no matter what was happening. It was she was the active agent therefore she has power she has control over the situation and i really feel like because of that she's convinced herself that there's nothing wrong and there's no need for therapy because there's nothing wrong she's always been in control of her life kind of a thing and i just say that because of the way she tells stories when she does tell stories it's always you know she she instigates it she goes along with it you know she's the cool girl in the story usually or she's getting revenge on someone who has made her look or feel bad but it's a very active form of revenge you know so 
and people who don't know or people who don't acknowledge that they have problems with their past tend to not go to therapy because they don't see the point. So can someone be ad addicted to delusion? I guess. I don't know why they couldn't be. <laughs> Reality is debatable. True. Also true. It's rainy, gloomy, but I love it. I love getting fresh air. <sighs> hey guys so okay so this is what i got confused about i didn't realize because i was listening to this while i was cleaning the kitchen i didn't so she just tagged on a video of her flying to kuwait at the end for giggles i wish my skin looked like that man Okay, so this is her flying out to Kuwait, I guess. I'm not watching it because it's retro and I don't care. Hey, right, and that's the end. Look, it's me. Oh my god, you guys, I'm in, I'm in a tiny blue anthropologist video. All right, well, that was quick. Um... I just wanted to talk about the therapy part of it because I thought it was interesting that she went. I thought it was interesting what she took away from it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere beyond this point because you could tell that she was kind of like, I don't know, there's just <laughs> there's just this look you have after you've gone through a really intense therapy session. And she definitely had that. So she was definitely talking about some deep shit, but I don't think she's going to go back, which means it's never going to get worked on. And she seems to be happy with the fact that the therapist validated her feelings of grief over whatever. And that the therapist backed her in that she's she's determined she's going to go back to Kuwait. Um, that she wants to return to Kuwait. So there's that. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this video. So I guess if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and put a... Ooh, there is a falafel emoji. Put a falafel emoji down in the comments section. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So again, thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to my subs. Thank you to my members. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you to the live chat. You've been very entertaining. Um, Yeah, and I will see everybody in the next one. Bye. Uh, they both their own. One session, done. Everything's fine. Yeah, therapy doesn't work for everybody. I don't know if it would even work for her. Because not everybody benefits from therapy, but a lot of people do. So. <laughs> All right. Bye, Cozy J. All right. Let's get caught up with Amber. This video is four hours old. Oh, yeah, whatever. It's four hours old. Ooh, we're buying more. Oh, who was telling me about the Starburst ice? Somebody was mentioning it. Gosh darn it. Who is it? Because I was like, I don't like these flavors. And they were like, yes, but they make Starburst flavors. And I was like, all right, you've got my attention. If I see those, I might give them a shot. Molly, you're skeptical of most rings? Yeah, I mean, if you don't trust them, it's not going to do you any good. Doesn't like to talk to real people because she doesn't like to see their faces. Yeah, that the way she kind of avoids the gaze of the camera does kind of feel like that. you were going to say four hours long sorry um amber tries the starburst flavors that's what someone the, the person who told me about the starburst flavor said they could only find the lemon flavor and i was like well that's no fun 
Drill sergeants are great therapists. I don't know. I mean, they get you out of your head. That's really much all you got to do. Pepsi is doing a lime and peach flavor. Peach Pepsi. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you, eventually you get to a point where you're like, I'm going to do the therapy and I'm going to do the damn thing and I'm committed. And once you've made that point, you know, you're good. Until you get to that point, you're, you're not ready. It's kind of like weight loss until you're ready to commit and literally change things. Uh, it's, it's not going to happen. Why does my door keep opening? It's very creepy. I know it was closed. Lear me. Oh, seriously, that guy was a great. That's where she is today. I don't think the lime Pepsi is going to be that big of a deal, but peach, I just peach and Pepsi. That just doesn't sound good to me. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to close my door real fast and I'll be right back. I think my cat keeps opening it. You're either in or you're out. I've wedged the door shut and now she's examining it, trying to figure out how to get the wedge out from underneath the door. Because cats, that's why. You know, I, I'm fine with giving them challenges. It keeps their brains sharp, yeah? Why? Why do you hate me, YouTube? How many times do I have to switch this damn account? Hey guys, welcome to a new Ah, she looks rough. Rough like sandpaper rough. All right. Megan, I am not, I'm, I'm keeping it until I get the new place settled because right now it's just trash well here actually no i can't it's uh, is there anything incriminating here might be able to see my bra in my closet hang on doo, doo, doo. you guys ready for a mess reveal this this is it this is the chaos Another way. My closet's just a mess of things that I just keep tossing in there and I'm like, I'll get to it later. But in all fairness, I've only been in here for like four days now. So, and three of those I was moving. So, but there you have it only on the lives. Figure out. She looks rough. That's just this room. I won't show you guys any of the rest of the house. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we're downsizing to get rid of just because even though technically this apartment's larger than the one we moved out of, the way the space is allocated kind of makes it smaller, but it's still worth it. You know, a game of Sudoku. I love Sudoku. All right. So. Hey, hi. Hello there. Welcome to another. Uh, hey, hi. Hello there. And welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Emberlyn Read. And this is her most recent video. My girlfriend surprised me. Mom's first YouTube appearance and trying on new pants. It's not her mom's first youtube appearance she was in a video clip when way back when amber was still getting surgery so that's a blatant lie no it's fine i get what she's trying to say here do i have her sped up too fast what do i have you sped up to nothing here we go 
But yeah, this this video is six hours old right now, and this is the four it's four nineteen for those people who want to know what the date is. And thank you, One Eyed John. I appreciate that. Oh hey, I didn't know you dashed, but congrats and thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Tips be hard, yo. Um, yes. So. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. Thank you to the live audience who is in the chat box that you can't see. And I don't know, maybe I should start putting the chat box in here somewhere. I just don't want it to take up so much space. I guess in these, it's not that big of a deal. I wonder if I could get that over there. No, I can't because I don't have it set up right now. I will set that up for next time. So, all right. I'm trying to think if I... I'm terrible at these intros. I need to write myself a script with a checklist so that I can pin it up on my little cork board here so I can just read it down, make sure I get it every time. I do have Backyard Ruby. It's beautiful. And again, once we get it all straightened out, I will definitely show you guys. Moving is the best time to throw stuff away because it makes you look at everything you have and be like, am I really going to use this? Do I really need to keep this? Oh. My door just opens on its own. Why did you open it? Oh, I thought you already fed them. Okay. Well, oh. can you stop messing with the door? Can you stop messing with the door? Thank you. Never mind, it's not a mystery. It's just my partner. All right, anyway, uh, I can't think of anything else I need to say before we get into this. So, waving frantically. Are you going to sing the intro? I will, I will add the intro in. I only, I only sang that twice. Yeah, we have to do so many repairs to this. I guess we're chatting. I have to do so many repairs to this apartment just to make it cat proof, let alone livable. It was haunted. I'm in a new place, Shelly. I have new ghosts. I do actually think I have a ghost. She will still find any reason to be wasteful. I'm kind of impressed with how little Amber has appeared to bring into the apartment, though apparently she has been buying clothes and not showing us. So, which is fine. I mean, we're not privy to every moment of her life. Oh no. Oh, that, that is, that is awesome. I'm so watching that later. But all right. I got this. I got this sped up to time and a quarter. Let us jump in and find out why Amber looks like she's rough. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm Hi. not even fully ready. Like I don't have my lipstick on, my hair is not done. Like I just wanted to show you guys this because I showed you in my last video and I was like, oh, it's frumpy. Honestly, it looks like a nun's, what is that called? A habit. I mean, I see what it's going for, and I think if you accessorized it, it would look a lot better. Like, no offense to Amber, but it kind of needs a belt, some kind of contrasting belt. And it definitely needs, like, some longer necklaces. But because it's just, it's such a solid color that even the little lace details are getting lost because it's all just black. And there's so much of it. So it really needs something to break it up. I think if you did that, I think it would be super cute. But just the way it is. You know how sometimes you buy things and it's like... It, it looks plain or it looks uninspired by itself. But you're like, oh, I know exactly how to accessorize this when I get it home. And then... You use it as the base piece and then you put on like a little jacket or a pair of boots or like a belt or again, necklaces or something. And it just makes the whole thing pop. This is one of those like foundational pieces, I guess you would call it. 
it just needs to be accessorized and Amber's got the accessories except for maybe the belts but I don't think she's going to she calls it dowdy you need to find this well let's find out horrid resume browsing Ooh, see I like that kind of crap oh I like that too I ain't put I'm not paying that for it I'm sorry Torrid your clothes aren't that good you're basically fast fashion I'm not paying that price for it no go away um new and now view all That's cute. You want me? I could be a torrid model. Maybe I should. That's cute. That's something. No, the sleeves are too short for that. That's cute. I don't even like onesies, and that's cute. Those are. may need this bathing suit I want to be Marilyn Monroe that's cute okay are they doing like a Marilyn Monroe thing I like that fabric I don't really like either of the any of those outfits all right I don't think this is going to work let's try um let's try Dresses, silhouette and length, color, black. There's only 66 items, we'll find it. That's cute. Okay, she was wearing that. That's cute. I do like that a lot. That's, I like that. I like a jersey, ja a jersey uh, shirt like that. No, that's not it. I mean, there's only so many ways you can do a black dress, you know? It's 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 a black dress. I like it in the short, too. I don't see it. That's adorable. Only that. Long sleeve. How far back do we have to go for it? It's, no, that's not it. Uh, I like the sleeve on that, but that's not that dress. Nope. Nope. Disney villain skater dress. It's funny. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm just checking. Sometimes they have like the same thing in a variant. All right. This, this is what we're looking for. Uh, and someday the picture will load in and we can see it. You guys, it's almost sold out. It actually looks really cute on this, on the model. But I mean, again, cute pair of, pair of boots. I think I hate pop-ups. That's what I think. I'm not really doing a whole lot to why do I need to wear a black bra under it? Is it see-through? I'm not really doing a whole lot to like accentuate the dress though, even here. Am I supposed to wear the bralette over the dress? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Are we wearing our underwear on the outside now? That's cute. That's interesting. I don't know why the picture won't load in properly. It's a black dress with bell sleeves. There you go. 
It does need cute shoes, yes. They do have some cute stuff, Megan, but it's like this is on sale and it's fifty dollars. So <laughs> I'm good. All right, let's hop back here. Nope. There we go. Uh, I think she told us one time, I think she bought three of this black one that she's wearing to death. Is there a session at the store? Those cowboy boots were cute. Just Jamie, you don't think the neckline's good on her? She does look like she's going to a funeral. She looks like all she really needs is the the habit, the head part of the habit. Maybe that is the habit. And the, the dress is called something else. Anyway, we are 13 seconds into this video. <laughs> when I call something frumpy, what I really mean is like it's either too long or there's just too much fabric hanging off of me. But I just think she says as she plucks at the fabric because it's too tight. I think that these bell arms, they look really cute on some people, but I just don't think they're, <laughs> they don't look good on me, okay? Like, I'm it doesn't look bad on her. It just needs to be accessorized. I'm truly not feeling it, but I like this. I like this whole getup. Like, I just think it's so- Your boobs? You like your boobs? We couldn't tell. What freaking cute. I almost want to cut off the bell arms. I'm not even kidding with you. Hmm. Shall I do it? No. The bell arms are the only part of this dress that has any personality. Okay, this is a thousand percent better. <gasps> yep. I literally just chopped it off. Yeah, we can tell. I think this length of sleeve is definitely my favorite. I got some pants from Woman Within. As you guys know, I just wear the same old pants. So she's just going on a clothing spree, apparently. Black pants. And that's where I get them from. Um, it's just what works good for me. So I got four new pairs. Damn, they really stock this uh, this up. Um, I don't think I need seven magazines, but thank you. Oh wait, no, I only got three pairs. Um, I get their 4X. And it's just what works for me and my legs slash like my style, honestly. A lot of people ask like, if you lose a lot of weight, is your style gonna change? Yes. Um, but I do have like deformed legs and that's just like the reality. So I'm never, ever going to be able to dress how I truly would dress. At my how I truly would dress? I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll let her describe her perfect style, but yeah, she just ruined that dress. The women's world leggings. Yeah, she, I'm assuming they're black. I'm assuming they're just black leggings my like perfect body and it is what it is like i do the best that i can um yeah. yeah they're just like regular regular black pants so let's try them on i also get the tall a lot of people are like oh my god your pants are so tall it's because i don't want my lipidema hanging out <laughs> yeah let's who's over there she was talking to somebody or she was looking at somebody <laughs> has the girlfriend moved in already her style is anything that fits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she grabs <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> what you did to that dress is simply unforgivable. I don't have anything against women within. I, I've, I've never shopped there. I know nothing about them, so. It, I just know that she buys the exact same pants all the time like there's nothing else there that she buys apparently try these puppies on i know they're gonna fit but you never know they do fit they're always tighter the first time i get them obviously you see they're just black pants that look like so yeah. i did pull them up quite a bit so they're not as long no it's complicated for me and pants trust me because i mean i believe her my legs are not lagging. Okay, so I am now ready for the day. I don't know y'all about my hair. Someone recently messaged me and they were like, you look so much younger with your hair 
parted in the middle. Compared to... Uh... What? <laughs> like, she doesn't look that old. Now I can't unsee it, and I feel like I look super old with my hair to the side. I don't know, I'm like going back and forth between the mirror and the camera and I look so different in person, I just don't understand. Like, I feel like the camera ages me like 10 years. It's so weird. What the hell do you look like in person? You look like a 12 year old? Maybe that's why she thinks she's so, like she's mentally so young is because she, she's got like that baby face. I'm like, oh, okay, I look like I'm 28 in the mirror. And then I go over here and I'm like, Whoa, this girl looks like she's 38. Anyways, I'm about to go take Twinkie on her second walk for the day. I'm also gonna go get a package from the package room because I have an Amazon package. <laughs> Yay, bingo! You know what bingo means? Bingo means we left the house. Oh, is that the boyfriend? Why, girl? Why? Why? Who are you duck lipping? Who are you flashing the peace sign to? Also, this what you did to this dress is just. Why did you even buy it? She's so nervous when she's filming in public now. It's like she's afraid she's going to get caught filming. And I don't feel like she's ever been like that before. Maybe it's because in the past she's always had basically a sidekick when she had whatever girlfriend with her and that that person acted as kind of a shield excuse me, acted like kind of a shield to the rest of the world. And now she doesn't have that buffer anymore. And so now she's just nervous about filming in public and she's trying constantly to hide it, but like also film in public. Well, I would have taken my bra back, Molly. This, this POS, this is your problem now. Yeah, she cut the edges and she didn't fix them. Like she didn't hem them. She didn't even hemming tape, clear nail polish, anything. <laughs> Say hi to the <laughs> hey, we're back to hand again. Be number four. Thanks. I would say they look alike, but they kind of don't. More places are cracking down on filming. Sorry. Yeah, exactly, Megan. She she probably does feel awkward in public, garlic breath. Oh, Mom, what? You want me to keep that in there? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so we're currently at the store. I'm gonna get some exfoliating gloves. Oh, I have a pair of those. They are amazing. Love those. I'm pretty sure they're like cleaning the floors right now, so that's what that noise is, but you're pretty sure? I'm pretty sure you could see them cleaning the floor. I think I'm gonna try this like lip repair because I have really bad chapped lips. I'm sure you guys can tell. So um, Not really. we're gonna try that and I hope that it works. 3.30. You guys, for some reason, the smaller Fiji is more expensive than the big one. Can someone explain that to me? Because there's six of each, so. The fact that this is this is the thing that draws her attention everything else but we have to stop and film about the price discrepancy between the large bottles of fiji water and the small bottles of fiji water we're confused yep that's what it looks like when they polish the floor the sound has officially stopped i can finally hear myself think so you're gonna get those yeah, yeah, but I'd have to drink them more. Oh, okay. Three for a dollar. Espresso cream. Smooth, bold espresso balanced with rich cream. Oh, carnation. I have gobber all over my arm. 
That's cute. My mom's getting this. Espresso cream. What is this? Charlie. Do you like these? Sour bright crawlers. Fruit crunch. Crunch. I can't even talk y'all. I need to go home and go to bed. Because I've been up for about four hours and my whole brain is just shut down. Very thin. She blows my mind. She, yep. You're exactly the young. With how much money she wastes on clothes that don't fit, the discrepancy between the water is what makes her pause. No, when I get home, we're going to do an Amazon haul. I Great. Actually, oh my god, someone messaged me and told me to try the sparkling ice Starburst. Look what I just found. Well, apparently if I want the flavors, I have to go to Walmart. Temporarily, I can read this. Temporary price. I believe that says reduction. That's why they got, I'm guessing they have cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. Am I missing a flavor? I think we're gonna get some. There's cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. I sorry. I think I want a cherry. I don't really would try and a, a strawberry. I don't know about that. And an orange. Are you checking them for mold? You're gonna check them for mold. Make sure they don't have mold in them. Lemon just doesn't really. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't like that very much. Y'all, I'm so. I like lemon starbursts. I know I'm like a minority, but I I like the lemon starbursts. I think they're tasty. So tired, but I want to open this Amazon package. So here it is. I opened this box just to realize that the thing that I thought was being delivered today actually wasn't delivered. Why? You know this plant is there. You know this plant is in frame. Why? This, when she does stuff like this, is when I'm like, this is intentional. This is her punishing the audience. Because it makes no sense otherwise. It's, it's even, it's beyond lazy this is intentional she's intentionally putting something in the frame that she knows is going to irritate people she's doing it to punish the audience this is another form of manipulation deliver today so i actually bought a new purse um it's just like a cute little cheap old purse but like i wanted to open it with you guys but what did come in the mail is i got some more wax melts and then i did get some new slippers they're actually super cute and there was so many colors, so if these black ones fit me good, and I just like how they feel and such, I'm probably gonna get a couple other colors because there was this really beautiful green pair. I was like, okay, pop off. So this is what they look like. I think they're so freaking cute. I don't wear slippers. My uh, my family on my mom's side, half of them are German, and there was always a basket <clears throat> by the door full of slippers. Because the idea was, is you took your shoes off at the door, so you didn't track dirt in, obviously. And then you put the house slippers on, and you walked around the house in the house slippers. But, you know, when you were a guest, you still weren't allowed to wear your shoes inside the house, but you were offered to use the slipper basket. And it's just like the idea of wearing, even with socks on, the idea of wearing slippers where someone else's nasty feet have been all, like, baking and cooking and sweating inside of these slippers just icks me out so bad that I just have like this this like residual ick as an adult when I see slippers I'm just like eh, I'm good I don't know about you guys but there was so many colors highly recommend well I can't really recommend I haven't even tried them on yet but wow they're super soft and then I just got some of these um, I swear to god I thought that was diapers um it's like a mop just like a mop head for my mop you know because I've been mopping so much have I mentioned I have a mop I remember her assembling the mop and being very proud of herself for snapping five pieces together. I have a feeling they're going to fit good. Let's see. Uh, keep my fingers crossed. Fingers are crossed. So it's going in. My German is absolute crap. You will occasionally hear me use a E word here or there, and that's mainly me just remembering my high school German. I do have wide feet. Obviously, keep that in mind. Ooh, they feel pretty snug. They feel like slippers. Is, it, is that what they feel like? They feel like slippers? So if you have white feet, be aware of that. But they do fit. I will say they are a little too tight. So once I lose a little bit more weight, they're going to start feeling better for sure. Oh my God, they're so soft. She's doing that thing again where she's buying stuff in anticipation of the weight she's going to lose. And she did that. She's done it a couple times. But 
that tells me that she's believing her own hype that she she really thinks she's like doing the damn thing ah uh, you know what i think she started doing this back before uh, the cancer diagnosis and i'm really hoping this isn't a resurgence so i think a lot of people are thinking that though which is unfortunate a different day hello hello hi so it is the next day i'm working on some cameos and i just want to let you guys know i have had that open again so the link is down below please buy my cameos please please buy my cameos we could do like happy birthdays i give pep talks uh meine deutsche schlecht yes amberlyn reed over here giving pep talks i also give advice um happy anniversaries good lucks congratulations <laughs> um Look, I, I, I might be able to be talked into asking for a good luck pep talk from ALR, but only if I'm allowed to share it in my video afterwards. A dreamer, not a doer. Yeah. <laughs> On dieting, duh. She's a skinny queen over here. She's not doing her gemstones things anymore. My all time. I just noticed that favorite was one time I got to tell someone, tell their partner that their partner was pregnant. That was fun. Was it? I don't know about that story. She's... Her eyes are moving back and forth. Tell their partner that their partner was pregnant. That was a recollection. That was fun. Um, I could literally do anything. The only thing I won't do is roast people. Like, I know that's an option on there, but that's like the only thing I won't do. But any- And why isn't an option? I mean, I'm assuming there's some kind of way to yay or nay things on there. Why would you have an option of something that you're not going to do? Just take it off the list. Remove it from the menu. Anything else, I'll do. Like, you can ask me anything. Anything else. Anything. She sounds like Foodie Beauty. She sounds like Foodie right now. And we know Foodie's desperate. This is kind of sad. Now... Is she doing this because she's desperate or is she doing this because she's mimicking Foodie? Because we also know that she does that. She'll mirror and mimic people. And Foodie is one of those people. So maybe she's on this again because Foodie's really been pushing her um, cameos. So that could actually honestly be why this is happening now. Yeah, so down below in the description. You can get my little cameo. I normally don't sit here and be like, oh my god, come do my cameo. But a lot of people were asking, and I just want to let you guys know it is open now. So, yay. So, I just remembered that I didn't show you guys what wax melts I got when I did the Amazon haul. Well, that's vitally important. There's no way in hell I would have been able to sleep tonight. I did not know Unstoppables made wax melts, but I guess that makes sense. ALR and Chantelle have been copycatting each other a lot lately. Eh, they're probably in cahoots. Aw, that's good, Ruby. That's awesome. I love when cats finally accept you as their people. I got the Unstoppables. It comes with three of the Fresh and three of the Paradise. Paradise. So this happened. <sighs> um accidentally please tell me you're not picking up a knife please tell me you're not picking up a knife please tell me you're not getting ready to scrape this with a knife drop something on top of my wax melt oh really all right so now i have to sit here and do this no you don't but since you're your problem solving skills are that of a five-year-old this has happened before and thankfully this does not scratch the counter or anything like that but 
it's definitely annoying so if anyone else has like a better way of cleaning this up let me know i'd love to hear it nasty ass hair brushes are still sitting here i guess we're in the bathroom yeah, of course okay right, so here's an update well, good, because the suspense was killing me. How were you going to get all of that wax scraped up off of that, that countertop? I, I was not going to be able to finish my dinner until you told me how you would manage to clean up this wax. I just, thank you. Thank you for putting an end to my anxiety. This is way more difficult. I think this is the worst wax spill I've ever had. Okay, look. Those little scraper things that you get to clean your pots and pans with, they're just like little pieces of plastic. They're thin, and the whole point is you use them to scrape the shit off your pans and your pots before you put them in the wash. All you needed was one of those, and just, it's plastic, so it won't damage anything, and you just scrape it right off. Scrape it right off. Wax. It pops right off. Anyway. Yay, we did it. Everything is back to normal. I'm so happy. That was like... Hooray! Way more stressful than it needed to be. You guys, so I currently have something in the microwave being warmed up because I'm hungry. And so if you hear that, that's what I... And your sunglasses are on top of your head because... I think she stages these things, honestly. I really do. Because the sunglasses are just ridiculous. I've never forgotten that I have my sunglasses on inside the house. And I wear my sunglasses anytime i leave the house like there you will never catch me without sunglasses and if you do i'm walking around like this because i can't see like, and i have never just casually worn my sunglasses around inside my own house i have misplaced them and not been able to find them which is why i currently own like five pairs of black sunglasses but had lost them on top of my head no forgot that I was even I even had them on my face no that noise is but I changed because it is cold outside it's cold in my apartment I had to turn on the heater so I'm like oh my god what is happening but I wanted to try one of these six for some reason the orange live. one just sounded six feral cats live in your car I don't know man I don't think that's a car anymore I think that's a cat house was it 1:18 a.m I mean it could have been 1:18 in the afternoon did it say a.m did it Oh, let's go back. It it could be AM or PM. We we use uh we don't use military time here usually. I turned on the heater, so I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? But I wanted to try one of these. For some reason, the orange one just sounded so good. This is what I got when I went good. to the store last night with my mom. The sparkling ice uh, starburst. Quit, it's so sparkling. I Quit shaking it, you idiot. Those are carbonated, right? shake it because sometimes there has uh, there's stuff on the bottom mold i told you it's mold don't drink that it's got mold in it you're gonna mold yourself again you're gonna be drinking white mold God, have you learned nothing from the gatorade gate all right i'm excited because a subscriber recommended these to me so if you're watching which i hope you are here we go cheers Yay. i was gonna make a really bad joke but never mind oh Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That's satisfying. It's super refreshing. I recommend. What does it taste like? Who knows? Is it carbonated? Eh. Yeah. Is it better cold or warm? Who knows? We'll never know. The world will never know. You guys, literally stop what you're doing right now. I have the sweetest girlfriend. So she's randomly like, you have a package in your package room. And I was like, oh, I do? You guys. <sighs> when I tell you, I wish I would have filmed my reaction. I wish you guys could see this in person. There's like a huge glare. I'm trying to get like a good angle to show you guys. The moon when we became one. I don't hate it. How are you already saying you love each other? You haven't even met in person yet. Babe. I mean, I can see why people might think that's wifey. Because of the babe thing. But. 
there I'm a reviewer too. Thank you, Megan. That was way more information than I had from Amber. So I have to put my regular glasses on to look for them. <laughs> I've done that. Where are my glasses? Oh, <laughs> a sugar drink. I think the ice drinks aren't actual sugar, which is one of the reasons I don't like them. I think they're using one of the artificial sweeteners. I just, you know, not defending her. I'm just defending the drink. <laughs> and it's creepy. <laughs> I... You accidentally wore your sunglasses on your head during a 5 a.m. morning show. I've worn my glasses in the evening driving home and I've been like, man, it is dark. I've done that. Get very specific at the same time. Yeah, this, I guess, is Valentine. We're not calling her Valentine anymore. It's my girlfriend. Amber has to have a girlfriend the same way Foodie has to have a husband. It's just part of their self-worth. Oops. But it says, 2 14 24, the moon when we became one. I love you. And it says, babe. Hello, editing Lynn here. I forgot to add in this clip that she's the one who personalized this. So she chose the words. And I just think that. Because we didn't think that. Typically, when you buy a gift, especially a surprise gift for someone, you're the one who personalizes it, not the other person. Why are you defending this? Now I think it's fake. The lady doth protest too much. Uh, now I think you did this to yourself, hence why it says babe and not something else. I... I I don't know. I don't think Valentine's real. I will believe Valentine is real when I physically see Valentine on camera with my own two eyes or someone starts living in the apartment full time. But no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not believing this. If she hadn't done this, I would have been like, OK, somebody's sending her something. No, I don't believe this at all. They haven't even met. As far as I understand, they have not even met. But Amber's playing it safe on this one. So maybe they have and she's just not telling us about it. Is the moon even real? Oh, no. That's no fun. Also, he could have gotten hurt. Is the moon flat like the earth? Well, yeah, one-eyed John. Or marriage. I think we need to watch Snowflakes. My girlfriend is totally real. Yeah, I, I don't think she's real. Well, see, Bathtub Mary, that's actually being self-reflective and evaluating yourself as an ongoing project we can't pretend like amber does that play kidding amber maybe she's getting catfished maybe i don't know i don't think this person's real i think amber's doing this all i think amber bought the lego i think amber bought this thing i think amber's making up a girlfriend that makes it even cuter Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Isn't that the freaking cutest thing you've ever seen? And I wish I could pick it up on camera. I mean, no, but... But, like, the silver is silvering. It actually looks so... Is everything going to be a verb now? Pretty in person. Oh my god. I just thought this was the sweetest thing ever and I was not expecting it. Like, that... 
That is literal goals. Like, thank you so much, babe. I know you're watching. I love you too. This might actually be the first thing that I hang up in my apartment. Cause as you guys know, I have some bare walls cause I'm too short to hang up anything. So am I. And I still have things on my walls that I hung. Well, not here, but in the other place. And like, I want it to be like perfectly straight and not crooked, but this, I think I'm going to hang. Oh my God. Why? It has, you can easily just set it up next to your silver button. It, yeah, okay, anyway. The moon when we became one. That is so sweet. Oh my God, what a romantic. Do a rune reading. So for now, um, I am going to have it right here. Look how cute on my bookshelf. Oh my God. Thank See, I, I, that's what I would have done with it. Babe, thank you. Okay, guys, so I'm actually about to get ready for- Does she just call all of her girlfriends, babe? Did she call Becky, babe? Did she call Destiny, babe? Did she call Crystal, babe? I honestly can't recall ever hearing her call the rest of them that, but I feel like she might have called back that a few times. I definitely, she said it to wifey. Bed, but I do want to end Bye, Megan. Enjoy your walk. Vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hey, guys. No. Well, we don't know why she looks rough, but we do know that she just mutilated the hell out of that dress. Until move-in day. Yeah, per bug. Yeah. I think they were all that. You think so? Babe. You know, like the pig in the movie. Yeah, Molly, I swear I kind of recall that. She did, astronaut cat. My ex texted everyone, hun. Well, playing it safe. She met Crystal before move-in. She was still living with Casey. That's right. But I think that's the last one that happened with. Because she met Destiny and they moved in that day. I think she met Becky a couple times before they moved in. And then Wifey, she didn't meet in person until Wifey moved in. Can you not look rough? Some days she looks rougher than others. Just Jamie, you don't think she's real? I mean, I'm not really trying to start a conspiracy here, but like, I was right about the weight loss surgery. <laughs> I'm right once a time, once a day. You see, um. Actually, hang on. I got, I, I know where one of my sets is. You guys won't be able to see it very well, but I know where one of the sets is. I'll be right back. Yeah, there's something on the back of my face. It's unacceptable. Ugh. So I used to get I used to get Ipsy boxes. And uh this was one of the Halloween boxes they sent one time. And boxes bags i got the boxes they would put bags inside of them and that was one of them and i was just like that's perfect all right i'm curious i could be wrong i can be wrong all right i don't know where any of my sets are because that would require me to pay attention to where things have gotten to, but I am still living out of boxes. Yeah, the green screen. I, that's why I stopped using this is because it doesn't really work. <laughs> but the more she talks about Valentine. Yeah, I know, right? 
It's my girlfriend in Canada. You guys have never met. Um, what I do have are a very old set of rune cards. These are Ralph Blum. If you know, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. I don't even think Ralph Blum's still alive, so. But I think this is actually one of the first sets of rune cards that were uh, sold. Eh, hard to shuffle. Because there's so few of them. And now they're all over the place. And there's this one set. There's actually two, two sets of uh, rune cards I've got my eyeballs on. Just because I think they look nice. One of them's black with all that really pretty gold foiling on it. It's just They're just basic and black. There's nothing else on them. And the other one is called like modern day rune cards. And just the artwork on them are really, really kind of cool. So. Yeah, so we'll, we'll use, we'll use the rune cards. And then I haven't got to use these yet. And I bought them in Salem. My mom bought them for me in Salem. These are rune dice. These are a fairly recent thing, so there's like no no rules to them yet. They're obviously not traditional. But all right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, the problem with the cards is you got to do a you have to actually do a spread with them. Got some old Pokemon cards. I mean, anything can be used as an oracle poker instead <laughs> yeah one eye john it is kind of hard to tell when she's just kind of showing off and when she's uh when she's she just lies so much she's just a lying liar lies and it's just it's impossible oh thank you lauren oh i'm at 5.2 wow Y'all are blowing my channel up. I appreciate it. Shoot. Creamy poppy seed dressing. Ooh, that does. I like a creamy poppy seed. Well, the room reading will be in the end. But. Um. I do like a poppy seed dressing. All right, this is going to be the last thing I do for the night, though, is this rune reading. So let's see. No, let's just start. Is Valentine even real? Well, it's right side up. So we'll start off with that. As our base card and then uh let's see do a four quarters what do i want to know mm. oh what did i do the computer you i don't want that there sorry about that define real uh well i mean i guess uh they exist on the physical plane one could argue that you know game worlds are also real but uh, i don't think we're talking about that kind of a situation empirical provable again you hate the runes sorry garlic this will this will be the last thing so i mean if you dip out you're not going to miss anything else, so let's see. Mm. Who is she? Where is she from? Where is she going? Uh, what are her intentions? Start off with that. Who is she? Hmm. Not a negative reading. I don't know, guys. 
Maybe she's real. Maybe she's really real. But I still don't think she bought those Legos for Amber. Uh, well, if you believe these kind of things, which you're welcome to not. Let's see if I can do this without screwing everything up. I may have to turn the background off. I'm trying to decide how much of my messy ass room you get to see. Eh, we'll see. I might pick this up without too much of a fuss. Nope. Nope, it will not. Messy ass room is is. So. Da -da 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 -da. What are you hooked on? All right. It's gonna be weird and awkward. This is who she is. Where she's from, where she's going, what are her intentions? This is the person in question. So this is usually a very positive rune to get. This literally means joy. What does that mean as in like who she is? Like, I want to know if she's like, well, I asked if she was real. and We got a yes. Thank you. And... I do see some secrets. Some, uh, this is usually enlightenment, but it's not pain. She's hiding something, but there is a, there is gifting going on and there's a cycle here uh, some kind of cycle. It might be an ex coming back. I mean, I'm not saying it is, I'm just, it might be. And the only ex that would come back would be wifey, so. Uh, what did you want? So. This keeps popping up. And this is even in the reading itself. I don't I'm not entirely sure what we're being told here other than the gift is a cycling. So it could just, it could be like somebody was saying earlier that like the girlfriend's placating Amber with gifts in order to keep and Amber interested and in inside the cycle. Uh, so that could be what's going on. This is, this is planning and a trip. It could be also considered a journey. It, it could be taken kind of negatively here because the, the problem with this one popping up where it is, even though it's like usually a very positive rune, the problem with it being there is that it could also mean that this person is putting on airs as of being the perfect girlfriend just to catch Amber's attention. I invest. Don't talk to me about the stock market. It's, I don't know what the hell the stock market's doing right now. All right. I don't know. I don't like that keep popping up. The problem is, guys, I just personally don't think she's real. Which is my biggest problem here. Because this is basically saying that, like, she comes from a rocky background. These are... I was just rolling these for clarification. Like, there seems to be, like, a lack of money. We've got the gifting thing going on again. You know? This is more indicators of pain this is a uh, community you know it's just i just don't think she's real 
Where's she going? I mean, this is... I don't know. I'm arguing. I'm arguing with my runes. I just don't think she's real. This is a this is cyclical cyclical. You reap what you sow. It pops up again. We've still got secrets. We've got poor planning and bad trips. We've got enlightenment. I think she's making her up. Her intentions. This I just I think she's making her up. I don't think this is a real person. This is an ending and a beginning. This is uh inwards uh power from within. This is community like people's again you've got money and reap what you sow. I think Amber's faking it. Welcome to the chaos. I guess that's not that bad. We'll go out on this. Is a free interweb. Yeah, Shelly, I think she's being her own girlfriend. Which, I mean, you know, she wants to date herself. That's fine. Maybe she needs to. <laughs> Look, she does hate when people do readings on her. Uh, you know, I've never done a reading for Foodie. And I'd rather have my actual, like, set to do that. Because it's be a little more traditional <laughs> exactly diary you know i think because this is about reputation and it's also about strength and it's it's about individualism so you know, we've got this saying, yeah, it's real, but it could very well be like an inner realness. Like my imaginary friend is real to me. And then like we've got literally the perfect girlfriend. You know, and then coming from rocky waters. You know, it's reaping what it's a it's a it's a cycle. You know, and endings and beginnings. It's just... I don't think she's real. I think she's, I think Amber is trying, I think Amber's trying to date herself. And I think that's going to be the punchline when all of this comes out and finally settles is I think Amber's going to, I will not be terribly surprised if Amber's not like, I was dating myself. You know, I wanted to see what it was like to treat myself the way I think I should be treated kind of a thing. I won't be terribly surprised if that's what happens. Cause I just, I just don't believe this person's real. My cards and my runes can argue with me all they want. The internet can argue with me. I don't care. I will believe it when I physically see them. Even if she hires an actress, which also I also don't put past her. Can you imagine Amber hiring an escort to come on and be like, "Ah, oh, yes, I am Amberlynn's girlfriend." That would be funny. So Amber knowing enough to figure out how to hire an escort would. For some reason, I thought she was in Texas, and I'm like, well, it's legal in Texas. Oh. Yeah, Amber's a U Haul lesbian, that's true. She's even admitted that much herself. On Sandy Beach. <laughs> a ghoulish gal. Yeah, the answer to the questions behind the questions. I mean, I don't believe she's real. I think, look, if Amber really is dating herself, which would be fabulous, I think. I honestly do. Because Amber's going to date herself the way she thinks she should be dated. Amber's going to continue to treat herself like a spoiled child. She's going to continue to buy herself whatever she wants. She's going to continue to do these little 
you know, oh, it's a gift from so-and-so, you know. I mean, I think there's a reason why Valentine doesn't have an actual name, you know. And then again, maybe it's been this Alexis girl the whole time. I don't know. Night, garlic. You know. Not that I go on the farms, but I figured... Here's my thing. If she's real, wouldn't the farms know? You know, the farms know everything. So, it's kind of where I'm at with this. Amber's not that good at hiding her relationships and keeping people anonymous. So... On that note, it is 8.30. We have reacted to three videos. I might do the live react on my own. <clears throat> the reaction to Foodies Live on my own. That way I can skip things and not cause too much of a problem. That's the way to start a video. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably react to this on my own. Amber's new girlfriend is sus. Seriously, like, does anyone believe she's real? <laughs> Nobody who's paying attention thinks this is real. All right, anyway, I'm just repeating myself at this point. All right, live chat. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. You will only get to see the lackluster reading at the end if you watch the live, so... There is that. And yeah, I'm just going to get these edited and put them up. And I do have some other stuff that'll go up before this, but the farms are better than FBI Frank, that's for sure. I would call them anti fans, but they're just as obsessed. That's that's kind of, that's just my thing. Like normally when I'm like, hey, something something I'm suspicious about, there's usually like two or three people on here. Oh, the farms have said, I haven't seen that happen yet. So there's that. So I guess I guess I have three caveats until somebody tells me that the farms have nailed it. I see the person in person, which I would rather do, or somebody moves in, and even then, it might not be a girlfriend. It might just be. A roommate kind of a situation type deal but anyway all right i am going to sign off thank you everybody for joining us and yeah you're probably i probably won't do another one of these for a little while until like tuesday or thursday um because i've got plenty of stuff i need to get edited and posted so let's get caught up on all of that and yeah and i will do somebody recommended doing a a makeup get ready with me thing for members if you guys are down with that i'll post something for members because i do need to do something for you guys and that's that's it that's all i've got i'm gonna go finish eating my soup and finish organizing my bedroom so it doesn't look like this next time we record well alec i don't know what's making you tired but i understand and i hope you are able to relax and recover from that and yeah all right See everybody later. Bye. I think I just do.